We're building a traditional cabin bunkhouse on our property in the remote woods. We have established a screw pile foundation that's four feet below the frost line. And today, we start building up, log by log. Time to load up our building supplies and we started digging a trench for water and electrical lines because this bunkie is going to have its own power and water. Caution, buried electrical line. Now that our screw piles are in the ground, we are gonna be working on completing the foundation, starting with the two beams. They are made out of two by eight by 16 pieces of lumber. And the reason we're going 16 is because we want to have a four foot deck on the outside of the bunky log cabin. It's going to be a vibe. In order to make a beam, we need to take three of these pieces of lumber and marry them together to get them full structural integrity as well as for them to fit perfectly flush on the screw pile attachment. Shoes in the house. Sorry, Crystal, right now. Hi. Hey, will you plug that Milwaukee battery in after? Mm hmm. Dirty good. Every day I'm grateful for my planner. Every day I'm grateful for my coconut water. The first step to any structure is a solid and a level foundation. And the really good thing about what we're doing here is we're using screw piles as the base, which means that they are adjustable and they can move up and down. So getting it level should be pretty easy. We've never built with screw piles before. And I have to say, I don't want to build with anything but screw piles after this. This is so much easier. You just turn it. You can put it down now. Oh. Level. Level, level, oops, pretty level. 100% perfect. All of our screw piles are nice and tightened. And that's one cool thing about screw piles. If, let's say the frost line changes, then you can go in and readjust these without having to dig down, pour more concrete, and do it all over again. It's simplistic. One day, 10 screw piles in, in like an hour, this thing's level and be ready to build. No raking, digging, excavating, nothing. Bring in material. Bring, oh, bring in material. <laughs> This is by far the fastest foundation we've ever done on any project ever. Hands down, and all of you would know that because as you can see, that was easy, breezy, and beautiful. Yeah. It was honestly, really a treat, honestly. I kind of feel like I'm cheating. Like whoever has used these, I literally feel like I'm cheating, my foundation. It honestly doesn't feel right. It just happens so fast. One day, a fun day. Marking the beam every 16 on center so we can add our choice. What do we have going on here? All right, we have this idea. We need this block here to support this end of this edge here. And we just used a ratchet strap to pull it up to it and we're gonna fill the bottom with crusher. A ratchet strap on a ladder. Yeah, check it out. <laughs> Holding a cinder block. Tell me you live in the woods without telling me you live in the woods. Gotta get crafty. Yeah. We weren't originally going to do a deck attached to the platform, but then once we started looking at the lumber and the sizes, we said, why not? So that's why we didn't get any posts in there. And plus, it's literally just a couple feet, you know? I don't even know if you need it yet, because people have 
their decks can deliver a lot more. But I think because the beam runs this way, you do have to, if I remember, but if it was this way, it wouldn't have to because it can overhang. Anywho, the neighbor said no more building. Who's that? Fred the over flies? there. <laughs> the earth has finally cooled off and Bella and Izzy can go for their walk now. They're such happy girls. Also very sad news. We have got so much rain that the water levels in the lake have rose so much that there are no more lily pads for our friend, the beavers. the last dish. <laughs> I'm happy now. <laughs> it's enough dishes for a week here, girls. I do have to say, divide and conquered that though. Cleaned dinner and a walk. Good job. Only way to do it. It was many moons ago. Yeah, I can give you many more. Gotta keep the inside looking pretty and feeling pretty. First things first, if you're looking for a pre and a probiotic, look no further because Seeds DSO-1 is what you need. Thank you to Seed for sponsoring this week's video and for keeping my insides pretty. Seeds DSO-1 is a 24 strain probiotic blend. It has 53.6 billion AFU, and if you don't know what that means, it translates to overall health. You can experience huge digestive benefits like bloat relief and regularity, but more importantly, everything is so connected to your guts, your heart health, your skin health, and more. Every capsule is a double capsule, which means that all of this magic will make its way through your entire digestive system. It's pretty neat. Super sweet, Seed is offering 25% off your first month. It's really easy to take every day. Everyone needs a probiotic. Keep that microbiome happy. Use code VanWives25. And one of the last structures that we built, a lot of people commented, you didn't square it up. And we did, we just didn't show it. So we're really? showing you. What? <laughs> you think I could get by without squaring something out with this box? Absolutely not. 246 and a half. 233 a quarter and a tick. We didn't account for the fact that this isn't straight. We already know it's not straight. Yeah, so like, how do we figure that out? Our foundation isn't 100% square, and that is just because of how the piles are done. That is why is it important to make your beams on the screw piles and then build your joists on top of those. And that's exactly what needs to be square. So that way, when we build our log cabin up, we will be 100% square. So we're gonna use a string line. 239 and a quarter. And that's perfect, probably. Maybe I'll put a few ticks on the side. 239 and a quarter. Okay. We've gone quarter to corner to check if it's square, moved all of the boards up with a string line. Now we're triple checking that it is actually level. Because our eyes do not see it. The suspense, you're not saying anything. We're, we're all sitting here in suspense. It's perfect. The queen herself is saying it. I'm really happy about it. It looks perfect. Your face doesn't show your happiness at all. <laughs> so if you're a little bit confused, what is happening is that we have four helica piles. Those two are not in line with the front two, meaning that our beam and our structure went in like that. They're slightly off and like the smallest, even just a few inches changes everything, right? So the actual joist sitting on top of these beams are what needs to be level because and that's square. what we're building and square because that's what we're building on whereas like the actual foundation can be a little bit yeah. out of square because the foundation is just what is supporting all of the weight where now 
after we connect one billion hurricane ties, we're building up everyone, we're building up. I can't wait. Guess what everyone? Two drivers, we finally did it. After how many years we both now have a driver. New, old. How many years ago should we have done that? <laughs> Five years ago. Five, actually. <laughs> Five. Day one. Blocking time. Do a block dance. Someone drop the bucket? Someone drop the bucket. Someone does not want to talk. She's giving us the back, y'all. We just had a long debate if Clementine could pick up the Ontario Grand. Turns out Ontario Grand is 4,000 pounds. Her limit is around 1,300. No, no, no. That means these forklifts have to get to work. But before that, this forklift needs a greasing. Clementine has been working hard and she's sounding like metal on metal, so. Happy tractor, happy wife. Clementine wanted me to let you all know she feels a million times better. Yay, Clementine. She's feeling better too. Might have been a couple hours overdue on that one, but to each their own. fresh kiln dried wood like it just smells delicious you excited yeah hardware okay. wow it's really like perfect eh wow i would hope that's wild though. <laughs> wow, it's boring. I'm not gonna lie y'all, we have not wanted to complain about the heat, but this is how hot it's been that we're loving this rain. It's cooling the entire earth down and us. Sad face. What happened? We got, it. we got a lot of rain y'all. Let's just say that used to be beside that and also you'd be underwater now if you laid on our little catamaran and good news the water is staying away from the cabin for sure needs sport mode for this we need to tie off our anchors here's anchor number one this rope doesn't sink so that's why you do it the chain would obviously sink and we don't want to lose an anchor oh it's so deep well, it's a good thing everything's super light when it's floating. There. You did it. Done. I kind of like it better like this. Now, if only the water levels could stay this way, well, maybe a little bit more shallow, so it's not right here, but that would be good. <laughs> the, locals, the locals warned us about owning a dock in Nova Scotia. They're right. You're constantly moving your dock 24 seven. Constantly. Because the lakes are so small, they, when it rains, they fill up and then you don't get rain and they go right back down. So you're constantly moving your anchors. My work here is done. What's mom doing? Go get her. <laughs> go get her, Belle. It stopped raining. Right to this corner. Yeah. 182. 182. We're perfect! So now, give yourself a pat on the back. The new driver versus the old driver. 
There's only one screw in that one. Oh no, you put two in there. Yeah, right? I put two. Foundation is officially done. The first notch is going together. We have our heavy duty mallets. And I've got my little piece here. Are we ready to go? You know they're not only mallets. Where are they? What? <laughs> Hang on, I'm blanking one second. I'm trying to think of what they are. Oh, they're a tam- What's that instrument? Just give them a shake. Oh, maraca. Shh. And they're maracas. Okay. You ready to maraca in this house? You ready, girl? Don't. Ooh, you have to go back and forth. I'm gonna need a bigger, better, stronger piece than this. That's yeah, you have to go to the other side now. Oh. I'm a professional. Have you built one of these before? Matter of fact, I have. Back when I was five. What I mean by that is this is adult Lincoln Logs. I don't know if you've played them, but it used to be my favorite game as a kid. I need, you need a, a steak. There's a, oh, there's somewhere in the yard. This is a sawmill structures bunkie, a classic bunk cabin that goes together with ease. Within a day or two, you can have a beautiful functional structure that can be used for anything. I've been working on my log cabin all the live long day. I've been working on my log cabin all Jasmine definitely played a whole lot of Lincoln Logs because she certainly is a pro at building this bunkie in a box. She's got quite the swing and it's quite accurate. It could be all the sports she played, but it's coming together real nice. But I couldn't do it without Crystal because some of my boards were on an angle, so <laughs> you need the muscles and the brains. Build and cold showers. That's the circuit we have today, huh? We have three more times to go around the sawmill bunkie and then we get to install some windows. Yes, this bunkie is going to have windows, everyone. It is also 14 feet tall. We might need the scaffolding to help us out getting the peak. There's even something very special up top. We're just at the beginning and I think it looks so good. We are cruising along though, I have to say. It's a really, really fun project. Like I, yeah, we are cruising. We're cruising, like it's, it's we got a method now, yeah. the tap, 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 back and forth yeah. thing all the way through. And it's once, of, you, once it's, you get that, I feel like you can just cruise. Totally, it's one of those things that anyone can do. It's so fun. As you can see, all of our tools look very similar. So, well, they're labeled. I'll put mm -hmm. a C on the bottom of my mallet for a reason. I think I should wear gloves. I'm gonna have blisters. Eh? Same. Crystal doesn't know it yet, but I got big plans for it in here. Number nine. Number 12. Wait a 20. Best decision to filter our hose. <laughs> Ice cold well water. Nice, eh? Y'all, we have half a bunkie. Or maybe a third, but it's looking like half. It's about up to our hips now, and we're inside. It's door time! And like, the floor isn't... So just set your side down. But we got guns here. We gotta lift it up and then slide it in. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll both Can just come take... Inside a, help? We'll both just take a side. Should we take a ratchet and hook it to a tree? What's well, easier, if I'm inside or outside? One, maybe one on that side, one on this side? Yeah, so it doesn't do this. Okay. And this is I'm the... so nervous. You're nervous, eh? It's nervous. <laughs> oh, sorry, I forgot I'm having everyone. It's because I have Invisalign and she makes fun of how I talk now. What a mean partner. I forgot. We installed the door! <laughs> that was the easiest door I've ever installed in my life. I think it's really important to point out one, <laughs> this looks amazing. <laughs> it looks so it's cool. Mm -hmm. But also, we built this today. Like, what time is it? Five o'clock. Look, we have half a bunkie here. It looks so cool. 
And we are moving slow. It's really hot, as you know, so we're not moving at our fastest pace. Ideally, we would have woken up at 6 a.m. and got started. Also, we're also learning as we go. Like, we don't, you know what I mean? Like, we're reading the instructions and then doing the task and then figuring it out. Like, I feel like majority of the day was actually just lining up our four pieces. Like, this has been like hours. It's so sick. Yawning. <laughs> it's the heat. I'm tired. Today is super exciting because now that the bunkie has a door, it gets three windows. That's a lot of light. It's gonna be super pretty, and these windows are just absolutely adorable. They're completely made out of wood. It's giving beautiful bunkie in the woods. Well, it's a good thing we didn't get any further because it turns out the door swings out, not in. Makes a lot of sense. You lose room inside. Wait, that was the easiest door I've ever installed in my life. Wow. Good thing in this is really plain. The next window is a special window. I can't wait to show you all. And it deserves a little bit of customization. So instead of just putting the numbered boards on here, what we're gonna do is we're going to still take those numbered boards. However, we are going to cut them to match the window over there that Crystal's measuring right now. That way it slides nicely in place. We're almost as tall as you. You're looking so small in here. You should see you on the camera. I mean, I look the exact same, but. What are you doing? Let go. Are you taking it? Okay. Yeah. Oh my God, they're heavy, right? Yeah, that was hard. Yeah, that's good. Beauty. One window. I love it. I feel like, <laughs> yeah. This little cabin is like out of a movie, kind of. Yeah, it is. You know? It's like, I feel like, um, what's the three wolves? The something in the three walls. Little Red Riding Hood? I feel like she lived in here and she was eating oatmeal. In this sawmill bunkie, there are four windows and we've strategically decided on where we want them placed based on the sunlight and the cross breeze. Okay, not only is this bunkie gonna change the lives of our guests completely because they're gonna have their own space entirely to themselves, with not just a bed, but much more, a deck, and a window that is on gas dress that completely opens and has a little wooden counter here to work at, eat at, hang out at, and that's gonna open up this space. It's gonna be the best hangout. I agree. I'm so pumped, it's so sick. Yeah, that window is unreal. It's huge, it's just like the coolest little bunkie ever. A little indoor outdoor bar again. How do you think the dock is? I think it's really fine. I think we did a good job. Yeah, same. Water's high though. You know what else we get, did a good job with this week? Building in 35 degree weather. <laughs> Are we training for something? True. Or what? Training for the Baja build. <laughs> oh. Come on, Bella. <laughs> I'm gonna get ya! Towel? Thank you. This was honestly the best. <laughs> Storage. I'm gonna keep swimming. See you all next Sunday. <gasps> Woo, 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 woo!